Welcome back to the Charismatic Voice and to My Choice Tuesday. I'm going to be looking at a song today that a bunch of other really awesome vocal reactors have recommended. In particular, Julia Nylon recommended this song very highly, so I wanted to check it out. This will be Johnny Cash's performance of Hurt. Now, there are several things that are also very intriguing about this song to me. One is that it's Johnny Cash, right? This is a bass baritone sound that I associate with The Ring of Fire, but he's doing a cover of a Nine Inch Nails song. So when Trent Reznor, the composer and Nine Inch Nails singer, uh, when he was asked about Johnny Cash's version of it, he said that it was really interesting. Well, first of all, he loved it, but he also was interested in the fact that he'd originally written it from the point of view of a younger man whose life was spiraling out of control. And Johnny Cash had taken it as an interpretation from an older man's point of view uh, who knew his life was going to end soon. And Trent said he thought that this interpretation was just fantastic. So I am really curious to hear what that interpretation is like. I just listened to the Nine Inch Nails version of the song. Uh, and I'm, I'm curious what that more mature take will be. Let's get to it. I hurt myself today To see if I still feel I focus on the pain The only thing that's real The needle tears a hole the old familiar sting Try to kill it all away But I remember everything What have I become? My sweetest friend Okay, that, uh, that suddenly hit really hard. Like from the very first, first few lines, I could feel those tears starting to well. Whoa, whoa, this is, uh, this is really heavy. <laughs> Woo! Um, I love the expression in his voice. It, that's, you don't need to have perfect vocal technique to be a fantastic singer. And here he is singing sometimes under the pitch a little, and you hear age in his voice as well. Uh, and yeah, there are things you can do to improve both of those, but ultimately having those present actually contribute to his message more. And that's what's more important. I want to know how he feels, and I want that communicated to me in a way that transcends just words. I want it to be sung. And this is, this is really, really extraordinary, really good, very, very real. <sighs> okay, let's go back and listen to that again. I was not expecting ah, such an emotional impact from the very beginning. I hurt myself today to see if I still feel I focus on the pain the only thing that's real the needle tears a hole the old familiar sting Try to kill it all away, but I remember everything. What have I become, my sweetest friend? Everyone I know goes away. 
in the year And you could have it all My empire of dirt Wow. Wow. The images in this and the expression behind them are so incredible. It shows, uh, it really feels like the images that we see are what he's thinking about while he's singing. Um, uh, very touching to see. I think that was a picture of his wife, I want to say at one point. Um, and then various video footage from his career as a younger man and understanding what emotional impact that must have. Wow. Yeah. But it feels so raw and wow, just really, really well executed. Wow. This is amazing. I love in the production of this, his voice is really far forward and it sounds like his consonants and words are also just really coming through very clearly. That's partly his own pronunciation and partly uh, really good production on the vocal line as well. I get the words actually better. Uh, in this version that I did in the Nine Inch Nails version, it has to do with how the whole arrangement is put together as well. Um, I get just more of the story here. Whoa. Okay, this is really heavy. <sighs> you stay the hell away from me, you hear? I wear this crown of thorns upon my liar's chair full of broken thoughts I cannot repair beneath the stains of time the feelings disappear you are someone else I am still right here What have I become? My sweetest friend Everyone I know Goes away in the end And you could have it all I'm going to pause it for just a moment. I realized I don't think I mentioned yet. Maybe I did in the intro. I don't think I did yet, though. Uh, this song was performed by Johnny Cash one year before he died. So I think it's having an extra impact on me right now thinking about like, what is what what is a person's life one year before they die? What, you know, what kind of regrets do you have? What kind of... Um, legacy have you left it's uh, it hurts appropriate word to think about his legacy as he's portraying it right now um but at the same time people change and evolve and maybe this was just one aspect to it i don't know i don't know um but this is such a powerful interpretation of the song thinking about it from this older point of view it like it really does hurt inside <sighs> Wow, okay, we're gonna go back um, because I don't wanna cut that emotion off as it was building. Everyone I know goes away in the end. And you could have it all. My empire of dirt, I will let you down. If I could start again A million miles away I would keep myself I would find a way
It's so hard to talk about anything when you have that much emotion coming through. Uh, I don't, I don't think we should look at this video and say, was that the most incredible vocal technique ever? You know that he's had great technique through his entire career, so he can still sing when he's this age. Um, but you should look at it and say, has he uh, delivered something that's really honest and true that touches people? Did it do what the purpose was? Did it, did it work? And it's got me in tears. <laughs> and I'm, I don't, I'm not even old enough to, I think, understand a lot of the things that he's going through. I understand some. But whoa, wow. When you talk about music for a purpose, uh, his, his message and his purpose, it seems just, it really, really hit me hard. <laughs> wow. I loved the images in this video. I loved seeing the piano close at the end and uh, just seeing all different people that you know meant a lot to him, flashbacks to his previous life and understanding how that would have gone with the lyrics. Whoa, it was just so powerful. And it was even more powerful because you could hear the age in his voice. You could hear those uh, chords just being a, a little more raspy in areas showing that they've lived and gained wisdom to be able to sing the song with more honesty. I, that was so perfect. There, there are tons of moments in there where I thought, well, maybe that note is flat. And then I was just like, it's better that way. It's, you know, it's, it's very rare, I think, for singers to be able to take a step back and say, let's show exactly what hurts with the pain in the voice and not try to wrap it up with production and give it a little bit of melodyne on top or a little bit of vocal tuning and make it perfect. No, the perfection is in the flaws and the message that those show. Wow, that has got to be one of the most emotionally powerful songs that I've heard on this channel ever. So thank you to those reactors out there who also recommended this. <laughs> Man, I just, there's some really amazing people that are in this community. So thank you to them. Thank you to all of you subscribers out there. Some of you recommended this as well. So many, many thanks for that. And, uh, and please come and join me on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays on YouTube for premieres. Please go back and watch this video in its entire length and ball your eyes out. I know that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> and then maybe come and say hello to me on Patreon or on my website, thecharismaticvoice.com. I'll see you soon.